so today we are going to create a payroll and we are going to start from the setting and uh, we're going to set up the departments for the for the payroll so we have the accounts department the administration the customer service the procurement and the sales then we'll proceed and create the payroll type so i'm going to create uh, a normal payroll type and we have the special covid rates that we are using right now then uh, i'll proceed and create the normal taxes and this is the calculator so on the first column we have the tax band we have the cumulative tax we have the tax rate we have the taxable amount so what you're going to do is that we will have the columns uh, having their respective amounts that is the tax band then we have our rates so as you can see on the screen we have the taxable amount being the minimum the minimum taxable amount as per the carry and then we have the cumulative tax we have the percentage of tax payable out of the taxable amount so as you can see right now is that we have the cumulative tax from the previous tax band that's of the 12 29.833 and then you add the 15 percent of the 11 586 and so you do this for all the bands until you get to the 30 percent band So now after we are done, we can do a bit of formatting and then uh, we can have a bit of borders on our tax uh, calculator. Then we have our tax relief for the normal tax rate being 1,408. So I'll have another tax band or a tax rate and this is the special COVID tax rate for the period. So as you know that we have new tax rates that were announced during the COVID. So I have that option for you. So that once these uh, rates change to uh, and get back to our normal tax rates, then you can uh, just adjust your payroll as fast as possible. So we'll do the same thing we did with our normal rates getting percentages and calculation based on the tax band and the tax payable and so we'll do that up to the maximum percentage as per the COVID rate which is 25 percent that is the highest uh, person paying the, the tax so again we do a bit of formatting then we have our borders on that and then finally have our tax relief which is 2400 so the next thing that we need to do is to create a range and so we define the range for the department and have that then we can also create another range for the payroll type and we can call this the type so we can have the other range this is for the normal tax rates and you can call it normal and then create another final range for the COVID tax rate and call it COVID so we proceed to the payroll and as you can see now we can have our company xyz limited for the month of august and year 2020 then what you'll do next is that you're going to allocate the list that will populate the payroll type 
and then we can see you have no more in COVID now. Then we are going to create another list to populate the department. And you can have this as well the screen and you can see all the departments are there. Then you can autofill so that the validation for the sales are spread over to these other sales. So now we can have our dummy employees and uh, we can key in some data. So we can have the second employee. We can have administration department and we can have some few values around that. We can have the third employee. And we can have the department. We have some figures in there. And we can have our final employee, number four. This is in procurement department. And we have some figures. So you can get the summation of all the salary and get the cross pay. You can auto fill so that you can capture for all the employees. Then you can have the static figures in SSF for all employees. Then you can have some figures for circle loan and help. For our four employees. Now we can get the total deductions. And as you can see, we have the net pay, which is the cross pay minus total deduction. So we can do a bit of formatting for our figures. And now they look much better. Now what we need to do is that we need to calculate for pay and also for NHF. So we will start with normal. And so with our cursor on the pay, then we can have our formula. So we are going to use the VLOOKUP to do a calculation for the pay. And so what we have on the screen is that assuming if N2 is equals to normal then we can have a VLOOKUP that is I7 which is a cross minus NSSF to get the taxable pay and then using the normal range and then column 2 and then true which means the next greater value than what we are looking for then you go to um, the lookup value again for the taxable charge i7 minus k7 on our normal tax range and then this time column 3 multiplied by I7 minus K7, VLOOKUP, this time you VLOOKUP column 1, true, and then all that minus the relief of 1,408. So that one uh, applies the same. If the payroll type is not normal then it changes to covid so you can change all the normal and to covid that is ranges and this time you have a relief of 2400 so you can auto fill that information and now we can go to nhif and do a calculation for the payable amount and so the assumption here is that i7 is not equals to zero so to do that is assume that i7 if i7 
is less than or equal to zero, then our figure will be zero. But if i7 is not zero, then we have our ranges. So what you can see on the screen, uh, the 150, um, the 6000, the 300, the 8000, these are the N NHIF tax bands where if you're earning a salary of 6000, you pay 150. If it's a, a salary of 8000, you pay 300 per month. It goes on and on uh, based on our rates as per the NHF guidelines up to 100,000 where you pay 1,700. So be very careful on how I'm formatting it. Where you have parentheses, make sure that you have the parentheses when, where they are required and where we have brackets. You have the brackets as per the formula. There is the formula and once you click on uh, OK, you can see now our formula out of use at 1700. And this is because of all our employees are actually earning more than 100,000. So we have that. So if we add one more employee, employee number five, who is earning less than 100,000, then you can see that the NHF column automatically adjusts to their gross salary so we can have some some figures here and uh, we can have the total there total gross salary you to fill for pay and chef and once you auto fill the any chef you can see now this comes to 1300 so you can copy that we create the totals for our employees is uh, for gross salary and auto fill the formula to get the totals you can do a bit of formatting and you can see our figures now look much better if we change to covid you can see the figures are changing when you go back to normal it changes so this is the final payroll uh, after preparation so you can be free to change uh, the figures you can add columns this is for allowances you can even add more uh, deductions you can add more employees and you can work and play around with it thank you for watching and in case you need a more advanced payroll then you can contact me to give you more information on how to create a more advanced payroll